If you're a developer or a nonprofit focused on affordable housing, a cost friendly building option may be in your future. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh breaks down the budget for a new land acquisition program that you could qualify for. You've probably seen homes like these popping up all over the low country. A new pilot program wants to bring more into the Charleston County area, keeping that promise of affordability. How do we deliver housing units and make them more affordable? The problem is so large, the, the housing needs is so great that it still feels sometimes like we're just sprinkling and making an impact. Single and multifamily rental and home ownership opportunities will be supported along with infill projects. Infill are new houses built on vacant, underused lots in relatively older areas. Developers could receive up to $250,000 for infill and $500,000 for multifamily. It's in our what we call the missing middle. Uh, the greatest need is for folks that maybe don't qualify necessarily for subsidies, uh, what you may traditionally think of as subsidized or affordable housing uh, where you get sort of a voucher. Uh, they're the folks that um, are our fighter fighters, our teachers uh, that are just in a salary range that they may not qualify. One of the main challenges developers face is the cost of the dirt itself. This gives them an opportunity to budget. We won't know what it can create until the market brings those opportunities to us. That's why we create this application process using these uh, really clear standards. Obviously, the more they can leverage with that money, uh, the more money they might be able to get. Uh, but it's really about the number of units that they can um, bring to market. The program is targeted at workforce families and those facing disability restrictions or homelessness. People who are from here can stay here and live here if they want to um, and, and maintain affordability. But there's nothing like seeing somebody walking into the house for the first time as a homeowner. And so that is truly a feel good moment to deliver that and also to understand that they're not going to be cost burdened, that it's not going to be a struggle to them. The deadline to apply is September 13th at noon. You are asked to apply only if you have previous qualifications building affordable homes. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.